Hello once again everyone, Original Blood Ace back, and as you can see, if you haven't already stumbled upon it, this is the new, improved, I hope is the correct word to use here, uh, OBA forums. As you can see, there is a little bit of a difference. First of all, the thing that might att uh, attract your attention is the background, that like fancy schmancy red, black, misty background from before. That's gone, that's old news. This, this new background here, well, I don't want to spoil anything, but what you are looking at may be something you don't even know, uh, or you can't even connect the dots, that it is indeed something that, well, I'm not going to spoil it. I know that didn't make any sense at all, but I don't really care. Either way, it's probably something you didn't really think too much about, but now you're probably going to try and think, uh, you know, what is it? But either way, um... New changes, of course, the background, uh, I've changed the actual, like, logo, and I've changed it from Home of the OBA Army to the Realm of the OBA Army, yada, 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 that type of stuff. Um, I edited uh, a little bit on the side here, I removed uh, some pointless crap that was there, I showed the authors, there's me and Aqua Flame Beat, and that's the main things. Um... And I also changed the font for stories, but either way, we are gonna do a news video, OBA news video, not for my Nintendo News, but for uh, from the OBA forums for once. Uh, well, I should say it's been forever, but either way. So our first story here, you will be able to get an $80 Star Fox, well, Fox McCloud, I should say, stone figure. That's a picture of it right there. So uh, as I say here, well, holy moly, this sure is something that's hard to resist buying, especially if you're a Star Fox fan, much like myself. Apparently it will release on February the 9th, which is two months before Star Fox Zero, uh, which is a bit odd, but it still will cost a whopping $80 American, uh, which is probably going to end up being $100 here in Canada. Granted, I would have preferred a Wolf O'Donnell one, but I'd even pay $150 for it, but this is tempting. Uh, it appears it's a GameStop exclusive. Um, EB Games, I suspect, will have it as well. Only apparently 5,000 of them are being made, and I don't know if this is for, like, North America only or around the world. Well, I guess GameStop is North America only, isn't it? Uh, but either way, um, so you might want to pre-order this if you are a huge Star Fox fan. Uh, also, if you're wondering how big it is, it is 8 inches tall, so it's definitely bigger than an Amiibo. Um, and perhaps this is Nintendo actually advertising or going to begin advertising for Star Fox Zero, because if Nintendo pulls a fucking Xenoblade Chronicles X where they hardly do any advertisement at all, then Star Fox Zero is going to not do anywhere near as good as it could have, uh, sales-wise. Uh, but anyway, um, maybe for a change, if Nintendo, or maybe if Nintendo was smart for a change, they would advertise the hell out of Star Fox, which is what I just said. Uh, as even if they did half as much as Splatoon, it would be a hit. The other story I wanted to go over was Yacht Club Games isn't done quite yet with Shovel Knight. Now, this, I'm both excited for and not excited for. Uh, for the reason of, well, first of all, let's get into this. Uh, if you're a fan of Shovel Knight and its last free DLC, Plague of Shadows, well, then hold on to your seats, because Yacht Club Games has stated they plan to finish Shovel Knight completely this year, which, like I say here, I thought it was already done, but I guess not. There will be two more DLCs, uh, or DLC releases for the game. We don't know exactly, just 2016, I would assume. But there is one for Spectre Knight, or a Spectre Knight campaign, and a King Knight campaign, as well as a battle mode uh, will be coming to the game. So here's what they exactly said. So the things we have uh, still lined up, Spectre Knight cam campaign, King's Knight campaign, battle mode on consoles, and, oh, a gender swap I forgot to mention. Uh, those are the stretch goal unlocks we're still working on. That's fine uh, that some backers are okay in moving on, not keeping a hot eye on it, but there are still people following it closely. I'd say our goal is to completely finish Shovel Knight in 2016. That's what we're hoping to do. Yacht Club's uh, David D'Angelo added that that's or that's the weirdest thing with the Kickstarter updates. Just working on one thing for so long, the idea of starting something fresh after 2016 is almost crazy to us at this point. So, I'll definitely do a playthrough on OBA Games of the Spectre Knight campaign and King's Knight. My only issue is I don't have the memory. I think I'm going to have to frickin' delete Metroid Prime, uh, the trilogy. Um, it's unfortunate, but, I mean, unless I could finish Metroid Prime 1 and 2 before, you know, I really need the space, because then I could just, if I wanted to continue doing the trilogy, I could just use the Wii version of uh, Metroid Prime 3. But either way, two more DLCs coming. Those guys will probably play completely different again. Uh, it'll be a little bit repetitive going through the exact same levels again, but we'll see how it works with 
uh, Spectre Knight and King Knight. So either way, I guess that'll do... Whoops, I did not mean to scroll all the way down. Either way, that'll do <laughs> for this episode. Uh, there I go again saying episode. This video. Uh, and again, I hope you like the new look of the OBA forums. And hopefully at least a few of you come check it out. Because like I said uh, in my other post here, which I guess I should show... Uh, Original Blood Ice is back, baby. That was on the first I posted this. Um, so, yeah, and as for the Adventures of Nindragon, uh, I will be doing one new chapter a week. I don't know exactly what day. It'll either be Friday night or Saturday night, which it's technically Saturday or Sunday morning now. So I'll do a chapter tonight, uh, or this morning, technically. Uh, so, yeah. And also, if you want to know when chapters uh, are up, follow me on Twitch, not Twitch, Twitter, because that's used to be the only thing I ever did on Twitter, was just to say, like, new chapter's up. But anyway, that's it. So we'll see you in the next video, as always.